Hello guys, hello guys, hello guys, and welcome to a small update on the game development process. Yes, finally, it's time, and finally, I have made an APK file. Should be a link in the description to my Dropbox where you should be able to grab it from. Basically, if you have BlueStacks running, you double click it, it installs in there, and you can try that. The game is not finished. The game is like, it's. we haven't even started, that's like how not finished the game is, but even though we are not finished, even though we basically haven't started yet, I just really want to emphasize that this is not a game that is anywhere close to being done. I now have the file for you so you can check out the game in its current state. So with that said and done guys, the game looks different than um, what I showed you guys the last time and that is because I've been trying to implement some of the things you guys have been uh, requesting in the comments. Been a bit busy with my exams lately um, and everything went perfect, got an A today. Uh, but uh, besides that, I'm gonna go through the game now, the things I have made, how they work and I'm, I'm so not done <laughs> adding in the things you guys asked, but please do continue adding in comments about what you would like to see, how you'd like to see things changed, all your cool ideas, because even if they won't be added in this game, it's something we can build on in the next game, it's something we can try out here to see if it works out. All ideas are welcome, guys, like, please just add it, even if it's completely insane. But anyway, so first things first. We now have coins and apples, we have an upgrade menu, and we have something down here. We have a click area here, we can click anywhere, but we have this sort of, when you tap, you get what this is at. So if you want coins, you click when it's at the coin, if you want water, you click when it's at the water you want apples and so forth you get the idea you have a combo meaning that if you click the, like the apples it's gonna increase so now we have a combo building up with apples and we can just wait for more apples if we want to keep building that up or we can like go with water here and build that up like crazy meaning that we will water the small tiny tree we had more and more each time the, tree system has been changed now, as you can see, uh, starting out with a tiny little seedling sprout kind of thing. <coughs> then what I did was I added in options to add in like unlimited types of trees. Right now only the very last one actually has apple on it, apples on it, yeah. but um, <laughs> hopefully you're going to be able to see the tree change here in the game as we water it more and more. I want to add in more watering options, um, but I'm not even sure if we want the game to go there, so that's also just something. I'm just kind of showing you guys how it is, and the more you build up combo wise, the faster it's gonna go. And so you can see it change here into a new shape. And we can go crazy with cool shapes, we can write letters, we can do anything we want really. Uh, but yeah, so that's um, that's the watering part, it's the combo part, so here we have the final tree. Once you have that, when you water, the higher the combo, the faster you build up, or the apples grow, rather. So, next thing, um, let's look into coins. Same deal, really, you can earn more coins by focusing on building up the combo there and of course it's a bit luck based um, the way I made this <coughs> clicking indicator symbol kind of thing is that each of these symbols have like a cooldown when it is when it disappears a new symbol will appear there are a few reasons uh, behind like that system. The main thing is that if you just click like crazy, you will not be able to like spam earn, which should decrease uh, the effectiveness of auto clickers. 
Um, the second thing is that I wanted to have the option in the game for people to specialize. Like if you want to go in and you just want to rake in money, you can wait for these symbols to disappear and you can just focus on the combo and the money. The same goes with the apples or with anything else we can add in the game. So it gives people that are very uh, like attentionate to the game a chance to specialize in some area and we don't need to be limited by these things. It could be anything really. Um, but it adds that option for people to focus on anything even like if the most rare thing we can put in here people can choose to really pay attention to that and you can grab these down here the apples uh, normally you can I'm not sure what's bugging it now if it's because we don't have any apples oh so apparently now we cannot <laughs> that's just typical we I could in my uh, in my other version of the game but apparently now you cannot pick apples which is very interesting for an apple tree um, so obviously that is something I need to work on but um, it worked in my uh, development environment I have no idea why it isn't working here in uh, in bluestacks but that is one of the many things that is uh, the fun thing about making games is that weird bugs appear out of nowhere so anyway we cannot pick apples but uh, picking the apples from the final tree is now also more an extra option to the game um, in case we still wanted to go with that and we want the entire tree evolution kind of thing going on um, so let's look into some of the other things I have added in here so we have the menu I know it's ugly guys all that stuff early early game development okay <laughs> please don't this is very early right so you cannot get apples per second APS um, you're supposed to just get them so apparently in blue stacks you also need to go up and click exit each time another thing I don't need to do in my uh, development uh, version but yeah uh, the, this is the first time I know I'm opening it here in Bluestack and it's really because I haven't um, due to my exams I haven't really had much debugging time I've really been working on making things work in um, hacks comes with something called Nico which is where I'm testing it but of course I'm gonna get all this stuff uh, fixed for the next version and hopefully add in even more Hopefully also get time to do some debugging in blue stacks, but this time it just really wasn't possible. But anyway, when you buy the APS, it takes up about once every second here, and this gives you apples. What do we want to do with all these silly apples? Yeah, exactly. Um, so many cool options. What I added in in this version, and as always, this is not how it needs to be. But I added in like the first part of making an unboxing feature. I have added in the four creatures you can see down here. And each of them exists with four different skins. And the bat also come with seven different like sticker types or tattoos. Meaning that you can get some super rare versions of them. And you can buy apples per second for your money you can get money from the pets I was thinking some of them could also water root the tree we could add all sorts of crazy things in new plants, new backgrounds, you know, weapons, whatever we want this is just I'm just going with the things that uh, yeah that I had the time to make this time around so anyway uh, if we click down here we should now buy one of these minions kind of creatures so it walks around it walks out on one side it comes back again and every once in a while it gives you five uh, something uh, this time it's coins um, and the updating part of it is a bit buggy here as well so I can see there is some kind of like a delay but yeah, early development guys the more pets you have the more you get so here we have a bat and it actually has like a skull tattoo or skin or whatever we should call it on its wing so besides these creatures 
being able to have different kind of skins on them. They can also have, like this one, some kind of tattoo. And I was thinking different skins could give different bonuses. The tattoo could be some kind of like special bonus. I was thinking I would make these and then I would make some kind of unboxing, randomization, draw a card, open something kind of thing, just so we have the functionality. It does not mean that we necessarily have to use these creatures, it could be anything, but it was just to make sure that we had something in the game that we could use to simulate this kind of, uh, of gain something uh, feature. So. There is something buggy about this blue stack stuff. I think it's because it's scaling the game. So shooting that thing was also a bit like weird. I'm not sure if you can pick the apples in another position. Yeah, I'm just going all geeky on it now. But anyway, that's of course stuff I'm going to look into. I just really wanted to make an update today because it's like about a week since I made the last update and I want to let you guys know that it's not like <laughs> it's not like I'm I'm uh, falling asleep here I'm really pushing it the best I can on top of my exam stuff to try to uh, get this um, game updated based on loads of loads of cool ideas from you guys so another uh, bat here with also like a nuclear tattoo on it in addition to a black skin um, so I think this is pretty much uh, a summary of the things I have worked on. There's a lot of text floating around and nothing looks as nice as it should, but like the reason I have all this text is it's very nice when you are debugging and working on a game in the early stage to get visuals on the screen so that I can see exactly what the game is doing, is it doing what I'm asking it to? Is it giving five coins? Are they being put over to the coin? Is it giving apples? Is it going up to the apples? All that stuff. So it's like big and ugly kind of texts now, but that's uh, it's on purpose. It's it is because that is what I need when I'm developing. Uh, so should I just grab a few more pets? I do think we are missing one or two of. The creature types, not that it's like that important, but just kind of nice to just get it shown now that I have put them in there. So come on. 236. So they also get more and more expensive each time you buy one. And the reason for that is that you get more and more money and more and more apples. So things kind of need to be balanced out against each other so that you don't just get everything right away. So we got another version of these dudes here. It's really bugging me that you cannot pick the apples, but uh, yeah, that's just how it is. So let's see here, 250 apples, not apples, coins. So we should be getting even more per second now. Are you kidding me? Is it only the first version that's working in this blue stacks? I really thought this would be completely uh, as it should be when I was doing it here in blue stacks. Why can I only buy the cheap ones? So apparently, you can only buy the cheap apples here in blue stacks as well. So yeah, it's um, it's super buggy, but uh, it's there. <laughs> And of course it's gonna get better. Um, I'm thinking um, I really just wanted to get one of the other beasts in here just for reference and also to make sure that they actually work. The way it's made now apparently is also so that uh, <laughs> if you click here and you can't afford the upgrade when you can afford it, it just buys it uh, instead of it just ignores the buy requests. It just like saves your buy request until you can afford it, and then it just buys it automatically. That is uh, probably not the best way for it to be. It's I kind of like that 
it doesn't buy things for you when you're not expecting it. Even though I did click it, I would rather that it only spends the money when I'm actually, um, like the instant I'm clicking it and not on any other time. <laughs> So let's just see if we can uh, trigger that once more here. 418, so just in a moment. I'm just gonna grab an apple because I'm building up that combo. There we have it. So spawned another minion of some type. So anyway, it's like a weird zoo clicking combo game thing with an apple tree where you can't pick the apples right now. Um, with a watering option and the flying dude that also gives you apples so it's like it's crazy messy but I did manage to put in some of the things you guys requested like the option to get a small tree that you can water I have prepared for an unboxing feature I have added in per second upgrades so it's a slow build up and I, I cannot promise that it's going to get any faster than this because I do have a lot of other things going on but um, but I'm definitely going to be working on it as much as I can because I really want to so I'm expecting to do another update again in about a week where I will have hopefully fixed all these weird bugs that um, I haven't tested out but that is also since this is a development process I don't really expect to be providing files and game versions that are perfect to you guys because this is a very like this is an ongoing process where things are probably gonna be like super buggy in between each update and then I will get some stuff fixed until the next update and new bugs will appear and at some point we're gonna be like okay let's try to just wrap the game up the way it is now and remove every single bug make everything uh, like super perfect I'll be looking into making sounds and making the file size as small as possible so it's easier to download and all that stuff but there is no reason for me to like go crazy pants on that stuff before um, before we feel that we are more like in the right part of the game yeah so something is majorly buggy about this a lot of things are buggy but anyway guys link to the Dropbox is in the description please add in your comments thoughts suggestions all the good stuff I'm gonna get on top of fixing bugs trying to implement as many of your cool ideas as possible during the next week and then I'm gonna be posting a new update with a new APK file so um, yeah as always guys thank you very much for uh, the support thank you for watching thank you for being absolutely awesome thank you guys very much for watching